Greetings, it's me Eli, aka Slim, another question video. This one is, Eli, why don't you draw more realistic? It sells better, um, which is fun, that's true. I do find that people generally appreciate realistic art more. If you see my art style, it's much more chibi, cute, anime-ish, um, me just trying to go through my own style. And yeah, I don't know. I guess money's never been a really good motivator for me. I, I'm that type of weird artist where I get money, you know, I know what it is. I know I need it for some, some stuff, but like art is a different thing. You know, it's great when it does make me money, but it's more of me documenting my life and existence. And I don't want money to, you know, lead me on to a different path that I won't, you know, be as excited about. Uh, I've done realism. I am capable of doing really realistic art. I've done it in the past, you know, art class, doing traditional art, taking some painting classes, some fine art classes. It's fine. It is just too much work for the fun I get out of it. I just don't enjoy it as much as doing my cute little stupid cartoon drawings of characters and, you know, situations. And even, you know, my client work, you know, clients ask me to do art sometimes. Usually it's still around my style. So yeah, I guess the short answer is I don't want to. Uh, it, it, it comes back to the same thing. Like, um, I feel like if I were to, you know, find some sort of high paying job that made me miserable, I'd rather be poor and happy than rich and miserable or unfulfilled. So I think it's the same thing. It's like, I could do realism, but I wouldn't be as happy doing it. So I don't. Um, and yeah, life's a little too short for me to try to do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe the moral of all these questions is that I'm lazy. That's, that's kind of how it feels sometimes. Uh, but no, when I think about it, I, I work hard. If you give me a thing to work on, I work hard on it. So I don't think that's it. I think it's more philosophical. I feel like you do better work when you're excited, enthused, and, you know, being taken care of. When you feel like it's a good thing to be doing and you want to be doing it, then I, you know, you just get more enjoyment out of it. I think that's how you should be doing. Um, also, I think this topic also comes to a lot of non-artists. I feel like that's, I feel like a lot of artists don't ask me that. It's people who don't really, um, create art themselves that have this question because uh, so for some reason, non-artists value more realistic art higher. I'm not sure why. I think maybe they think it looks prettier. Maybe it's closer to reality, but you know, I always say if I want something really real realistic, I can just take a photo. I don't need to spend several weeks or months drawing it. Uh, artists usually appreciate all types of art. I actually find artists that do realism really like simplified art and artists that do simplified art really like realistic art. It's more about the ideas behind it rather than the application of it. And I do think those different techniques and skills can be used to different effects to have different impacts on, you know, the project, the process and the piece. But I think all artists are on their own little journey and their own path. I think the, the goal of me and my artistic expression isn't to make a bunch of money. Because, you know, I do think that's the business mindset is like what pays the best. Make that art and sell it. Um, but no, I'm more of a creative than an, an art salesman. So I'm more trying to create the art that I think is worth creating or that I want to create. I My theory is that all artists are just pretty much trying to prove that they exist and they're trying to create things. So they're creating things uh, based on their own existence and experience. You know, if they start branching out and doing things that they don't give a crap about, then that's not really their experience. They're uh, catering or pandering to you know a, a body or a group of people rather than putting their stamp on the world. Um, I feel like artists go through life ingesting media, and then they use their art to express those feelings through their own lens. And if they take a step out of that and start expressing, you know, other lenses that they don't even have haven't seen or experienced just because I don't know, someone told them to. I feel like they lose a little bit of themselves in that. And I don't know, I, I might be being too philosophical about it. Maybe in a couple of years, I'll realize this is all BS. And you should totally just do whatever makes money. But um, that's been my belief. I've been doing this for a long time now. Like, uh, I've seen a lot of artists fall by the wayside, um, trying to pander or make other people happy. But art is such a personal experience that I feel like if you're not making yourself happy, then uh, I don't know. It's hard. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of that video. Yeah, so if you have any questions, like I love to hear 
arguments, debates. If you have thoughts or feelings on them, please do let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.